Okay, so here we have the main parts of our tail system. This one you need to take all the screws out of it, lock tighten them and put them back in again. This one comes pre-built, don't need to take that apart at all, you can just leave that as is. So the next thing to do is for us to put together the tail rotor itself, the tail rotor hub and the pitch slider mechanism and install that onto the gearbox here. Okay, so here we have our tail hub on our tail pitch slider. I've already gone to the trouble of installing the ball into the pitch slider here. Also, take these screws out, put a tiny bit of Loctite on them and put them back in again. For these screws, these are actually going to screw into the grip here and you have to be really careful with these because if you get any Loctite in these bushings, it locks up the whole tail. So what I recommend is getting some Loctite on a cocktail stick or a pin and just putting it down inside the threads in there. Don't put it on the screw itself, put it down inside the threads uh, and then just the tiniest amount, really just the weeny weeny bit of Loctite uh, and then screw it together. And if you, if you use too much, it will get into these bushes and just lock the whole tail up. So I'm going to install this onto the shaft and we'll come back and have a look at that. Okay, so there we have the tail pitch slider installed onto the shaft. You see it? And that moves and moves our tail. Silver parts of the tail rotor outwards, black parts inwards. Um, also, something I forgot to mention is make sure you take the bolts out of each blade grip. They will be Loctited, but take them out, take the thrust brace out and grease it because there'll be no grease on it at all, and then re tight the screws back in again once you've greased that thrust brace. Uh, otherwise, you're going to get a, a rough running tail. But, uh, a line don't grease it. Although they lock tight the screws, they don't actually grease the thrust braces. Okay, so that's our tail pitch slider installed. So the next thing for us to do is to get the control arm, the bell crank, mounted onto here, and then that's ready for installing onto a boom. Okay, so here we have the tail pitch bell crank. Now the thing to note with this is there is a washer that goes here and also underneath the screw head here. I've already screwed the ball on here and this goes into a nut which you have to put Loctite on. Then Loctite on this bit of the screw here and it screws into our gearbox in this hole here. Uh, you need to make sure you get it uh, on the underside of the gearbox which I'll show you in a moment. I'll, uh, I'll install that and then I'll just show you how, it's, uh, how it should look when it's done. Okay, so there we have the pitch bell crank for the tail installed. As you can see the ball sits right underneath the gearbox, almost central, and then that moves the slider back and forth. We'll just switch this around so you can see it from a slightly different angle. See the ball underneath there. Okay, so that's our tail at the back end assembled. The next thing we need to do is put the blades onto this, um, which I won't show you, that's very straightforward. Um, and then we're into putting together the shaft drive for the torque tube and gluing the bearings onto the shaft. So that will be the next thing. But first I'll just install these blades. Okay, so there we have our tower blades installed. You really can't put these in the wrong way around as long as you've got the black stripe facing outwards and the blades are on the right way around. But if you're really not sure, tail rotors on T-Rex models rotate anti-clockwise, so that way. So your leading edge should be to there. And if you've got the silver on the outside, then the control arm will be leading the blade grip as the blades go around. Okay, so the next thing is installing bearings onto the shaft drive. Okay, so here's our tail case. I've already installed the bearings onto the shaft drive and I'll show you that in a moment. I'm just waiting for the CA to dry where I've glued the bearings onto that shaft. So what we're going to do in the meantime while that's drying is I'm just going to show you this gearbox here and you'll see there's a hole in it. 
and there's also this little plastic piece which was pre-installed in there so that's that was in there like that with two screws through it now this hole is meant to line up with a hole in the boom so you can see here's my boom and here's a hole in it so this effectively slides on there and then you line the holes up like so and then you install that plastic piece if I just hold that you then install this plastic piece which has got that little tab in it into there like so and that then holds the boom in place so I'm now pulling on the boom and you see it won't come out it won't twist it won't come out and that's how we hold the towel gearbox in place now the screws that go in here they go through the vertical fin and into this part here and they basically pinch the gap together so you can see there's a gap here they pinch that gap together to also squeeze the, the tail gearbox onto the boom as well but you don't need to do these up that tight just lock tight them screw your vertical tail fin on and give them a, a little bit of a nip up and that should be plenty to hold it all in place so I'm just going to do that I'm just going to install my vertical tail fin onto there just scrub that out of the packet Okay, so here is the vertical tail fin and that would sit on there like so and then our screws let's just push these screws through that's it, one sorry just off camera I'm just pushing these screws through the vertical fin so that I can get them to thread into that Got it. Yep. So there's those pushed through, and those go through those holes in the plastic, and then we can tighten that up, and that will effectively grip the gearbox onto the boom, pinch it nice and tight, and also keep that little insert in the hole in the boom so that nothing can move and come free or come loose. Like that. So I've just got to uh, pull those out and put some Loctite on them because they're not Loctited but I just wanted to show you how that goes together and how the boom is now secure. I'm now pulling on that and that won't come out, it won't twist. So that's ready for us to insert the shaft drive now into the boom. Just one last thing quickly to mention, having just put my tail fin on, I realised to put it on upside down. Make sure that the long piece of the tail fin is on the underside of the gearbox when you screw it on. I, in my eagerness to do it on camera, I didn't notice it was the wrong way up. But uh, you'll know if you've got it wrong because when you look down the boom, the aligned lettering will be the wrong way up if you've done it wrong. So, uh, as always, there's clues as to what's going on. But, uh, okay, so that's now installed, and we can see it's uh, working nicely, and I can't pull it off. So, we're now uh, going to have a look at the shaft drive. Okay, so here we have the shaft drive, and basically, you've got these rubber outers which are around, if I just bring this up to. Uh, Try to show you down inside here there's a bearing which you probably can't see but uh, in there there's a bearing these rubbers are around the outside of it and basically you cyano you put some cyano onto the shaft just a little drop of it and then slide this rubber outer with the bearing inside it down until it hits the cyano and then just leave it for a few minutes and it will stick to the shaft but one thing we must make sure of is that we've got our distances correct so this is at the end of our shaft from this edge of the metal here to the middle of the bearing is 26 centimeters and similarly on the other side so the this exactly the same one but on the other end of the shaft that is also 26 centimeters in okay uh, and that's where 
the two should be glued onto the shaft. Now once you've done that, you can then grease these up because the only way you're going to get to push these down into the boom is if you grease them up. So either oil them or grease them and also put a bit of oil or grease inside the boom and then you can slowly kind of work this down into the boom until it locates this end into the back gearbox and you need to push it all the way in until it fully locates. So I'll show you that next. Okay, so there we have the shaft inserted all the way down until it's in the tail gearbox at the rear. So if I just bring the tail up, you can see when I twist the shaft, it's turning the tail. But as you can see, there's very, very little pokes out the end when it's fully located. Okay, now up this end, you'll see there's the cutout, which locates into a cutout that's in the front gearbox. So this piece, there's a cutout in there. That, that cut out well there's a tab in there that that cutout locates into uh, and also there's a hole here which a screw goes into to make sure that uh, this end of the boom stays in inside that front gearbox as well so the next thing we're going to do is actually mount up the front gearbox and you'll see all, how all this goes together so the first thing is to insert this end of the boom into the gearbox but before we do that there are some items we need to slide onto the boom which are these little things. These are the push rod supports for our tail push rod and those need to be slid onto the boom first before we put the front gearbox on. Okay, so there we have it slid onto the end of the boom and the hole here is lined up. So the next thing to do is to insert the four screws which clamp this together here and at the bottom as well and also we can put this shorter screw in which locates into the hole in the boom to hold that in place. Okay and there we have that secured and the, lock, the nylock screws behind and the locator belt there making sure that the boom can't come out or twist. Okay so the next thing we're going to do is install the horizontal fin clamp onto our boom Okay, so what I have here is the top half of our fin clamp, which has got the uh, writing on it, you can see. Uh, and basically I've just pushed the screws through, ready for that to go on the top of our boom. And then there's an another piece that goes underneath that this screws into. And basically when you put this on, the holes here, you can see these go towards the front of the machine. So I'm going to put that underneath this on top with some Loctite on it and then just screw through into the underside and clamp it lightly onto the boom because at this stage we haven't worked out how far down the boom the fin needs to be because we've got to put our boom supports on. Okay so there we have our horizontal fin mount on the boom and what I want you to just notice here is that I've got one push rod guide behind it and two in front and this hole here is basically where our boom support is going to mount and that's actually what we're doing next, we're going to put the boom support onto there. Now something I've just noticed is I've actually missed the little washers off which should be sitting underneath those screw heads so I'll just drop those screws out and put those washers in. Okay, so to finish this off, we're going to be bolting these boom supports onto our horizontal fin clamp using these big screws and these washers. Now, on the 700N, it's very common for these screws to come undone. Uh, I don't know whether it will be the same on the 700E. However, make sure that you put loads of Loctite on these screws that go into the horizontal fin clamp at the back to try to stop them from coming undone because when they do come undone invariably the boom supports go up through the blades and it can be quite catastrophic. Okay so there we have our finished horizontal fin clamp and the next thing for us to do here is to actually bolt this into the back of our frames. Okay, so I've just forged ahead a little bit here and uh, I've installed the front gearbox into the back of the boom and it's secured with these four screws here and the same the other side. 
uh, and also down the bottom of the machine if I just lift it up you can see I've installed the screws for the boom supports again lots of Loctite on these and do them up nice and tight so that's our tail now installed into our machine the next thing we're going to do is uh, put together the rotor head which we didn't do right at the beginning as per the instructions um, so now we're going to assemble the rotor head and then install that down into the machine through the main gear so the next step is putting together the flywheelist rotor head <laughs> 